Brain tumors are abnormal growths of cells in the brain. They can be benign or malignant. Their impact on health varies depending on their type and location, often striking fear and uncertainty. Advancements in medical technology and treatment modalities offer hope, paving the way for better outcomes. Brain tumors are broadly classified into two main categories, benign and malignant. This fundamental classification helps in understanding the nature and potential impact of the tumor. This distinction is crucial, as it dictates the tumor's growth pattern, potential to spread, and subsequent treatment strategies. Knowing whether a tumor is benign or malignant can significantly influence the medical approach taken. Benign brain tumors are non-cancerous growths. They tend to grow slowly and remain confined to a specific area of the brain. These tumors are generally considered less dangerous than malignant ones. While benign tumors don't invade surrounding tissues, their location within the brain can still cause problems. Depending on their size and position, they can exert pressure on critical areas. Pressure from a benign tumor can damage healthy brain tissue, leading to a range of neurological symptoms. These symptoms can vary widely, from headaches to more severe cognitive or motor issues. Examples of benign brain tumors include meningiomas, schwannomas, and pituitary adenomas. Each type has its own characteristics and potential impact on brain function. Malignant brain tumors, on the other hand, are cancerous. They multiply rapidly, invading and destroying nearby healthy brain tissue. This aggressive nature makes them particularly dangerous. These tumors can also spread to other parts of the brain or spinal cord, a process called metastasis. This ability to spread makes treatment more complex and challenging. Malignant brain tumors are further categorized based on their cell of origin, such as gliomas, which arise from glial cells, or medulloblastomas, which originate in the cerebellum. Each type requires a specific treatment approach. The grade of a malignant tumor reflects how abnormal the cancer cells appear under a microscope. This grading is essential for understanding the tumor's behavior. This grading system helps predict the tumor's aggressiveness and guide treatment decisions. Higher grade tumors are more aggressive and may require more intensive treatment. Grade 1 tumors are less aggressive, while grade 4 tumors are the most aggressive and fast growing. The grade significantly impacts the prognosis and treatment plan. Understanding the type and grade of a brain tumor is essential for developing an appropriate treatment plan. This knowledge allows medical professionals to tailor their approach to each patient's unique situation. Brain tumors can manifest with a wide range of symptoms, often mimicking other neurological conditions. The specific symptoms experienced depend on the tumor's size, location, and growth rate. Headaches are a common symptom, often described as persistent, worse in the morning, or aggravated by coughing or straining. Seizures, caused by abnormal electrical activity in the brain, can also signal the presence of a tumor. These seizures may involve convulsions or subtle changes in behavior or awareness. Changes in vision such as blurred vision, double vision or loss of peripheral vision can occur if the tumor affects the optic nerve or visual pathways. Difficulty with speech, weakness or numbness on one side of the body, loss of balance and personality changes are other potential neurological symptoms. It's important to note that experiencing these symptoms doesn't necessarily indicate a brain tumor. Many other conditions can cause similar symptoms. However, it's crucial to consult a healthcare professional promptly for a comprehensive evaluation if you experience any of these warning signs. The exact causes of brain tumors remain largely unknown, making prevention a complex challenge. However, research has identified certain risk factors that may increase an individual's likelihood of developing these tumors. Exposure to ionizing radiation, such as that used in medical imaging and radiation therapy, is a well-established risk factor, particularly for meningiomas and gliomas. The risk is higher with increased radiation exposure, especially during childhood. Genetics also plays a role, with certain inherited syndromes, such as neurofibromatosis, tuberous sclerosis, and Lee-Fraumeni syndrome, increasing the risk of developing specific types of brain tumors. While the link between cell phone use and brain tumors has been a subject of debate, current scientific evidence doesn't support a causal relationship. Age is another risk factor, with the incidence of most brain tumors increasing with age. However, certain types like medulloblastomas are more common in children, 
Lifestyle factors such as diet and smoking haven't been definitively linked to brain tumor development. Diagnosing a brain tumor involves a comprehensive approach, combining a thorough medical history, physical examination, and specialized diagnostic tests. This initial step is crucial in understanding the patient's overall health and identifying any potential risk factors or symptoms that may be indicative of a brain tumor. A neurological exam assesses various functions, including reflexes, muscle strength, coordination, vision, and sensation. These tests help pinpoint any abnormalities in the nervous system that could be caused by a tumor. Imaging tests such as magnetic resonance imaging or MRI and computed tomography or CT scans provide detailed images of the brain, revealing the tumor's location, size and shape. These images are critical for planning the next steps in treatment. A biopsy, which involves removing a small sample of tumor tissue for microscopic examination, is often necessary to confirm the diagnosis and determine the tumor type and grade. This step is vital for tailoring the most effective treatment plan. This procedure can be performed during surgery or using a needle guided by imaging techniques. The choice of method depends on the tumor's location and the patient's overall condition. Additional tests, such as electroencephalography or EEG to measure brainwave activity and lumbar puncture to analyze cerebrospinal fluid, may be performed to evaluate for seizures or rule out other neurological conditions. These tests provide further insights into the tumor's impact on brain function. Early diagnosis is crucial for improving treatment outcomes. The sooner a brain tumor is identified, the better the chances of successful intervention and management. If you experience any symptoms suggestive of a brain tumor, seeking medical attention promptly is essential for timely diagnosis and management. Early intervention can make a significant difference in the prognosis and quality of life. Treatment options for brain tumors vary depending on the type, size and location of the tumor, as well as the patient's overall health. Common treatments include surgery to remove the tumor, radiation therapy to destroy cancer cells, and chemotherapy to target cancerous growths. In some cases, targeted therapy and immunotherapy may also be considered. Please subscribe to our channel for more informative videos on health and wellness. Your support helps us continue to provide valuable content.